Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. This week we are covering ordinary differential equations, initial value problems in multiple variables. We started ODEs in the previous week where we took up examples involving single variable. This week we have expanded it to examples in multiple variables. We took an example in the first video of this week and thereafter we talked about uh, expanding it to multiple variables when you have stiff system of ODEs. We'll take one more example in today's lecture. So what have we covered so far? We have covered two examples, the mass spring damper system and the Van der Poel oscillator. Both are examples of second order ODEs because you have d square x by dt square term. Now the second order ODEs can be converted into first order ODEs by writing dx by dt equal to v and the second equation is going to be dv by dt multiplied by m plus cv plus kx equal to 0. This guy comes over here and this we can take on to the right hand side divide by m and rearrange it to get this particular guy. So now we have two equations, uh, two ordinary differential equations and two unknowns. This we can write this as dy by dt equal to f bar of t comma y bar. Okay, And we can then go ahead and solve this equation. Same thing was the case with Van der Poel oscillator as well. Now let us take up an example of multiple equations uh, of first order. Okay, So we have first order OD in volume, first order OD in temperature. This is an example of a stirred tank heater. Okay, uh, You have probably seen a stirred tank heater in your homes. In the morning when we go to take, take a bath, we sometimes if we have electrical heaters at our home, we'll switch on the electrical heaters. The heater will boil the water electrically by passing electric current uh, through, through the heater of this nature. Okay. The flow, there is liquid water that is flowing in, there is liquid water that is coming out. The liquid water that flows in is at the room temperature, we will take that as 25 degrees Celsius and the liquid water is flowing out. And there is some amount of heat that is supplied to the system, let us say this might be a 4 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt heater, uh, usually it runs with 50% efficiency and the amount of energy that is delivered is going to be of the order of 500 multiplied by rho Cp. That is the amount of energy electrically that we are providing. Okay? And these are the initial conditions and these are the parameters that we need for solving the ODEs. Okay? So let us take a look, of, like, look at how we are going to solve these ODEs. So first thing first, we are going to define our vector y as volume and temperature. As a result of this, we will be able to write d by dt of V F in by V T in minus T plus Q divided by Okay, our initial conditions are going to be okay, and let us see what, what happens if the heater is run for 30 minutes. So, from 0 to 30 minutes is what we are going to run this for and these are the various parameters. Okay. So, in MATLAB we are going to use ODE 45. Okay. What does ODE 45 requires? It requires the ODE function, it requires T span and it requires initial condition. Okay. So, this, these are the things that it requires. The initial condition is what is go, given over here, ODE function 
is basically this particular line. Okay. Now, you have two variables v and t, therefore, ODE functions should also return a vector that has two rows in it. Okay. So, that is what we have studied so far. So, let us go to MATLAB and try to solve this problem. So, we have, uh, will try to solve this problem using the online version of MATLAB. Uh, again, the website is matlab.mathworks.com and uh, uh, at least in 2023, right from 2016 on to until 2023 and hopefully in future as well, you will have access to uh, MATLAB online version courtesy of MathWorks. So, let us say edit stirred heater, that is the name of the file. So, we will open a new file and call this stirred heater. Function for stirred tank heater. Okay, so let us start writing the function first. Function dy dt equal to sth fun capital Y. Okay. So, let us say variables to be solved, volume is y1, temperature is y2. functions for ODE, it is dy dt 1 comma 1 equal to I think it is fn minus something and we have dy dt 2 comma 1 equal to and let us look at what that was. So, dy dt the first guy was fn minus alpha square root of v, fn minus alpha into sqrt v dy dt 2 comma 1 is fn by v into t in minus t. plus q by rho c p divided by v. Okay. Now, why I have written this as q by rho c p? Because the parameter q is given in terms of 500 by rho c p. So, q by rho c p is going to be equal to 500. So, we can write this guy as nothing but 500 divided by v or this is the variable that I have called q by rho cp. That is just for convenience. If the rho and cp values were given, we would have uh, uh, had q as a parameter, rho as another parameter, cp as a third parameter. But because it is given in terms of q by rho cp, we will just write it like this and then end. Right? Okay, so now stirred tank heater, let us say our uh, in the solution is going to be T sol comma Y sol as we have been doing before is ODE 45 okay. and we will start with ODE fun at T comma Y STH fun Y because T is a dummy variable. So, we can leave that T span comma y 0 right and what what is our y 0 a 0 our initial volume is uh, 1 liter I think and our initial temperature is 25 degrees Celsius let me check yeah so the initial so 1 and 25 is y 0 t span is 0 comma I think we are to solve it for half an hour. So, 0 comma 30. Yeah, we are to solve it for half an hour. So, 0 comma 30 and that is this. And we have 
plot t sol comma y sol okay and several of you might be anticipating that there will be an error so just think of why do you think there will be an error and let's run this and see how we are going to get rid of the error okay stirred tank heater and then there is an error what is the error unrecognized function or variable f in okay in line number 16 in this so which is basically in this line why did we give get the error like we got the error because we have not defined the parameters so let us define the parameters over here what are the parameters the parameters that we have is f in i think that was 10 alpha i don't remember then f in then t in uh, t in was 25 uh, Q by rho CP I think was 500 right so let's take a look what it was so Fn is 10 alpha is 0 0.8 Tn is 25 and Q by rho CP is 500 okay and these are the functions Okay, so let's see what happens. Run this, it's solved, and that's figure one. So this is how the volume is uh, increasing, and this is how the temperature is increasing. The temperature has increased and uh, settled down at almost seventy-five uh, degrees Celsius the volume is increasing to approximately yeah volume is increasing to approximately 104 or 120 something of that sort uh, right so that's because of the values of fn and <coughs> sorry that's because of the value values of fn and alpha Okay, let's say if the alpha alpha was say 1.6, what's going to happen? If the alpha was 1.6, what we are going to get is the volume will settle down at lower value. Okay, so this is the alpha, the volume has settled down at approximately 38 liters. That was what I intended to be the alpha, the actual value of alpha for a 40 liter vessel actually is uh, 1.6 and not 0 0.8. But again, you can do, you know, various checks for, uh, you know, how this is system responds. And let's say instead of 500, let's say this was 800, okay. We are increasing the amount of energy, electrical energy. So, we expect the temperature to go up. And yes, the temperature has exceeded 100. So, that's a non-physical solution. Why is it non-physical? Because at 100 degrees Celsius, water is going to boil over and that is something that this model does not capture. So, instead of 800, if the value of uh, this was 1000, we will be able to still run it, but physically this result is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because this model does not capture the uh, vaporization of water that means water gets converted into steam okay so this particular model is really valid for q by rho cp below say around 600 or 650 beyond that the model does not remain valid anymore okay these were our original parameters 1.6 and so on and this is the result that we get so let's go back to our powerpoint and let's make the change this was an incorrect parameter let's make the change in that parameter to correctly reflect what a 40 liter domestic vessel will behave like okay and that's how a 40 meter 40 liter domestic vessel behaves and that's really the solution that we get Okay. So, this gives you a little bit of an idea also about how to solve the problems uh, where you have, you know, multiple ODEs which are all of first order in nature 
again the values of parameters are not so important what's really important is the procedure that we are going to we are we have used in order to solve this problem okay yeah so these are the values and with that i come to the end of this lecture okay i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and i hope you are over the videos of uh, over the last three videos, you now know how to solve ODEs in multiple variables. In the next video, we are going to take the initial problem that we, we had spoken about in the first introductory video that's about Zoni trying to hit a 6. Uh, that is going to result in 4 ODEs in 4 unknowns and we are going to solve it using ODE 45. That's coming up in the next video. With that, I come to the end of this video and I thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.